Welcome to the PeopleSoft as Oracle Cloud comparison tutorial. I am Siva Koya and this is the second episode in our series. Today we will delve into a detailed comparison of the user interfaces in both applications, highlighting both their similarities and key differences. If you are ready, let's get started. Why don't we start with PeopleSoft application? Once we log in into PeopleSoft application, a fluid home page is displayed. A fluid home page is a dynamic collection of tiles. Each tile serves as a gateway to a specific content. Either it could be a fluid page or a classic page, navigation collection or a data visualization report. We can even display announcements as well as dynamic content on our tiles. With the introduction of PeopleTools 8.61, we now have the capability to organize multiple home pages as you can see on my screen, allowing us to create a more focused and streamlined user interface. Depending on your security, you might have access to multiple home pages. To navigate to another home page, we simply need to click on this drop down button and select the home page that you want to navigate to. Now let's check out Oracle Cloud application. Let me sign out of PeopleSoft application. Now I will log in into Oracle Cloud application. When we log in into Oracle Fusion application, what is shown to us is called Oracle Fusion Springboard. Let me make it bigger for you. Springboard is nothing but a personalized home page. As you can see here, we have access to more content on a single page when you compare with PeopleSoft application. First, we have application section. Then we have things to finish section. Then we have news and announcements section. And finally, we have data analytics section. Now I will explore little more on these sections. Let me scroll up to the first section, which is application section. If we take a closer look, Oracle Cloud app section is pretty close to our PeopleSoft homepage. Just that home pages are displayed as tabs so that we can view multiple home pages at once. As you know, in PeopleSoft, we have to click on the drop down to view other home pages. In order to view the rest of the home pages, we have to click on the right arrow. This is called application bar. If we click on any of the application, the relevant content is displayed. For example, if I click on product management, here we can see the primary landing pages for the key work areas of product management application. The set of tiles that you see here for each application is called work area in Oracle Cloud application. And this content is related to product management. The quick action section that you see here provides you with the direct link for the frequent actions. The links appearing here will differ depending on the app that you selected. For example, if I navigate to another application, you will see a different set of tiles which are related to procurement in the work area of the procurement application. Likewise, the quick actions is related to procurement application. We can perform any of these quick actions straight from our procurement homepage. I'm thinking quick actions are pretty close to navigation collections in our PeopleSoft application. Now let's discuss security. Both PeopleSoft application and Oracle Cloud application supports RBAC, role-based access control. Just like how display of your PeopleSoft home pages is controlled by the roles you are granted to, likewise, the display of apps that you see here is controlled based on the roles that you are granted. Now let's talk about home page personalization. Just like if you have access, you can personalize your home page in PeopleSoft by selecting Personalize Home Page from Actions menu. Here, I can pick and choose what tile should appear on my 
customer contacts home page i can delete the tiles i do not want to see on my home page i can add tiles as well keep in mind even though i delete some tiles on my home page we can still navigate to the same page using navigator now let's explore how to personalize home pages in our oracle cloud application in oracle cloud application you can navigate to any home page click on the plus icon this is where we can select and unselect tiles that appear in each application's work area for example in our case procurement i do not want to see purchase order style in my procurement work area all i need to do is unselect this option and save my changes as you can see there is no purchase order style in my procurement work area but just like people soft application even though i deleted this style you can navigate to that page from navigator here you can see purchase orders now let's explore two typical ways how target content is displayed through tiles in oracle cloud application let's start with first type of transaction data that we can access using tile now i am in procurement application home page if i click on purchase requisitions tile it directs me directly to the requisition page where i can search for items and start creating requisitions i can even leverage existing templates which has pre-filled information to expedite my requisition creation process it almost works the same way in peoplesoft if i click on create requisition tile it directs me to the requisition page where i can search for any catalog item or select any favorite items or create requisition from any template the second type of content displayed through a tile in oracle cloud is a landing page for example if i click on journal style i am directed to a journal landing page on this landing page system shows me the transaction data that needs my attention even though there is no data here you can imagine if there are any pending transactions that need my attention those transactions will be displayed here it works almost similar in other landing pages as well just that they could even display data analysis reports with data that needs my attention in order to create the actual transactions i need to click on the task button which is located on the right hand side of the page if i click on the task list we can see a list of tasks that we can perform from this journals landing page likewise in peoplesoft if i click on general ledger tile here we have a list of tasks we can perform from this page as you saw before similar tasks are displayed on the right hand side in oracle cloud application but the landing page is simple search page in peoplesoft application while it is context driven in oracle cloud application now let's move on to the next section that exists only in oracle cloud application which is things to finish section here we can view any recent notifications such as approvals or denials sometimes we can even perform actions right from this area as you can see on my page these are fyi notification that's why there are no actions related if this is a approval notification i can either approve or deny from this tile news and announcement section serves as a central hub for sharing important information such as organizational news policy changes upcoming initiatives or specific actions that our employees need to take if we scroll all the way to the bottom we have analytics section for each module if we click on another module we can view infolets which provide a quick view of analytic dashboards as you know in peoplesoft we can display this analytic dashboards on our home page itself the last tool i'm going to talk today in oracle cloud is oracle guided learning we can access oracle guided learning by clicking on this help center icon oracle guided learning is very similar to peoplesoft help page along with that it also includes video tutorials and step by step practical exercises on how to use a particular feature or overall application itself 
once we are in oracle guided learning either we can search for a particular topic or straight away start with getting started in oracle cloud applications as you can see here it is helping us with the practical exercises on how to use oracle fusion basic navigational features i can click on the next button we can watch this video or we can click on the next button we can practically follow the instructions provided by oracle guided learning to complete the first step i have to click on the navigator link i clicked on it next it went to the second step explaining what is the role of menu in oracle cloud application i am required to click on the menu button to complete the second step i hope you got the point this is how oracle guided learning is helping me to understand and navigate oracle cloud application features if you found this video helpful please consider liking and sharing it so that others can benefit as well i hope to see you in my next episode until then keep learning